You don't want to go in the water? Mm. No. So I learnt three things at breakfast from our waiter. Wow. I'm Elise, this is Lawrence, and this is our baby dog. We're travelling the world. But we're going to be doing things a bit differently. We're going to be travelling a month. And coming back to the UK and working a month. So we're going to be travelling month on, month off. Until this little one goes to school in a couple of years. We want to see if it's actually possible to travel the world with a toddler in tow. So subscribe and come along for the journey. Lawrence has found some lays. We have found Bang Pai Waterfall. No, no. So thank you. Yeah. So we're going to take you with us. It's a little bit of a walk, which is why Nai's on my back. If you're in Thailand, you have to visit a waterfall at least once a week. There's loads of like Thai families eating and just playing by the little river. So this is the walkway up. I know you were wondering, what is that? <laughs> I hope she explains exactly what that is because I'm confused. You're having flashbacks? Yeah, Italy waterfall all over again. <laughs> Wow, look at the size of those trees. It's the humidity that gets you. 30 seconds in, your body is just covered in sweat. It's hard to breathe. I feel like you're gonna have an asthma attack. That might just be me, actually. Oh, obstacle. Over or under? Oh, well done. Take a pro. I feel like we're getting closer. And lots more little streams running across the pathway. This is hard work. Absolutely freezing. How <laughs> come it? I thought, oh, this is going to be lovely and tropical and we can jump in and it'll be all romantic and clean it. If I'm getting in. This is the bit I feel like we're never quite prepared for, are we? It's walking back and we're wet. If nothing else, a good nature trail up to a waterfall to build up a healthy appetite. Always. I mean, I Go could on. eat 12 times a day. <laughs> Hold on, we're going under a tree. You all right, babe? Yep. Keep going, keep going, that's it. What we're actually going to be doing now as well is hiring a car for the next four days and traveling to the four corners of Phuket. So we'll be going down to Phuket town, we'll be going over to Patong and Qatar and then we'll be going up to the northwest and staying in a resort up there. We also decided to do a video because accommodation varies so much here. Staying in a hotel that's £20, £40 and £80. So if you're interested and you're coming here and you want to see how much you need to spend on a hotel and the difference it makes because it does make a difference have a look at that are we gonna go get some food now you don't want to go in the water no okay <laughs> there also is a given sanctuary just there but it's closed at the minute so if you come here you can go there too I think it's about 100 200 bahts each um, and they rehabilitate gibbons, obviously. <laughs> <laughs>
say we can really recommend this place because it's just literally by the entrance of the waterfall. It is got the most beautiful views. It's all wooden. The food is like proper Thai food. And I've got my coat for that as well. So I learned three things at breakfast from our waiter. One, they have this with everything and it is delicious. It's like a fish sauce with chili and garlic. Two, you eat with your fork to push it on the spoon and eat it. That way you can eat curries and everything properly. Three, you eat this cucumber after your dinner. You don't just leave it on the side and it helps the digestion. I think. 